I am loving my new insulated Trader Joe's tote bag and most people call this the lavender tote bag but I call it the ube colored tote bag today because this week's haul features the returning ube items. So if you're new to my channel, I'm Natasha with Natasha's List and I go shopping at Trader Joe's literally every single week and I pick up as many of the new items as I can, we sample and review them, plus I show you just what I get every single week, all with the goal of helping you make your shopping list for Trader Joe's. So if you're new to my channel, please be sure to hit that subscribe button and tap the like button and let's jump into this week's Trader Joe's haul and start sampling some of the new items. Okay, we are jumping in to Ube season at Trader Joe's. I'm gonna scoot this over here. A lot of you are probably wondering why I only have one bag because it's very unlikely to just have one bag. Well, what happened was this past week I went to Coachella and I did a massive Coachella haul for our house that we were staying in. Um, so I still have a lot of leftovers in my fridge. So I definitely picked up some of the new items, um, but like my typical haul, I have like so much sandwich meat and everything in the fridge. Um, the first thing I'm gonna try is not an ube item because the ube items are in the bag, but I really wanna revisit these ghost pepper chips. The reason being is this weekend when I was at Trader Joe's, um, some new friends I met were telling me their favorite Trader Joe's items, and ghost pepper potato chips is one of them, and I thought about it, and I was like, I haven't sampled these in forever. So I wanna try them, see if they are as ghostly as I remember. So they've got like this like ridge cut, you can kind of see that. Um, and it's spicy flavors bring you joy more than any other game or toy. Oh, it's a rhyme. Then try these chips with loads of heat. Find crunch that simply can't be beat. We've used the chili called the ghost, providing heat, which we can boast is hotter in jalapeno or habanero. And so we issue you a Dario. They really stretch there. To so grab a bag and take a bite of chips packed full of ghostly fright. Um, nice potato crunch. A little sweet. There's the heat. Ooh, those are really good. I like these, I like these, I like these, I like these. Well, wow. I've not had these in forever. Um, they do contain soy. The spice does creep up on you, but in like a really good way. Wow, I would be tempted to put these in a sandwich just for that like extra heat. Like my mouth's really watering now. Um, okay, these are good. Sometimes at Trader Joe's they have so many different types of chips, it's overwhelming, but if you like spice, if you like a good crunchy potato chip, these are good. And I would argue these are also really good as dipping chips because they're quite firm. Like their little texture and their build, this like crisscross nature gives well to like a, a good dipping chip. Mmm, okay. Those are good. Um, some of you are here to see the ube item since this is an ube haul. Let's do an ube item that's back. The ube mini pretzels are back. If you have not had these, you guys gotta go try them. One thing that everyone said, because I bought these for the desert as well, everyone loved how cute these were. They literally are mini. So there are other like chocolate covered pretzels are actually a bit bigger. But if you if you pick up the bag at Trader Joe's, it shows this on the back and it says like the actual size. It's literally the actual size. So these do contain gluten. I'm just gonna have a piece of one. Mmm. Was it ube good? Ube, ube, ube good. Wow, I'm just gonna eat the rest of it. Mm. The ube to pretzel ratio is perfection. You really do get that sweet flavor. A lot of people don't know what ube tastes like. It's like a cross between like vanilla and pistachio. It's the best way that I can describe it. It's really, really, really yummy. Um, and actually eating it after a chip tastes good. This is what you call junk food. <laughs> Today's haul is featuring a lot of delicious food. Um, that makes your soul happy. Um, yeah, these are really good. And they're just like adorably cute. So I love mini, like any sort of coated pretzel that's a mini. Super cute, super, super, super cute. These are delicious. Very good Ube product. I, I am looking for the Ube Mochi because that's like hands down one of my favorite Ube products and I did not see it there today. I'm just gonna break the news right now, but we did get other Ube items, so we will start there. Um, some of the, this I wanted to show you, this was from my Coachella haul, which if you missed that, there's a reel on Instagram, you guys can check that out. Um, but this is the, so this is new, it's a product of Spain, okay? It's quite pricey, it's $13.99 for this sliced meat, but the reason being is this is, okay, Chorizo de Balata Iberico, 
it's a Birico ham, which is like the best type of ham. And so there, it's dry, uncured, acorn, acorn fed, Iberico, I'm pronouncing it wrong, you guys are gonna correct me, Iberico chorizo and Iberico pork ham, acorn fed. And you wouldn't think it, but like, that actually produces like a sweeter, like, like I wanna say like nuttier flavor meat. This is my favorite. I like the um, chorizo the most, which is on this half of the bag. But I actually didn't realize I grabbed two bags when we were, when I was at the other Coachella. Sorry, when I was at the other <laughs> Trader Joe's in Coachella. Reason being is like these are bags are really thin and they were stuck together. So just make sure you don't make the same mistake I did and grab one bag is actually two. Um, but the good thing about cured meats is they do last a while. So I'm not, not too upset. But this was brand new. I've never seen it before. And this is really, really, really good. The Iberico ham, the pork ham is actually quite sweet. I was shocked how sweet it is, but again, super delicious. It's a product of Spain. Honestly, it doesn't get any better than this unless you go to Spain. And the, the pigs used are free range for whatever that, some people love knowing that, free range pigs. Mmm. So good. Just add that to, I, I wouldn't consider that really junk food. Mmm. It's delicious. Oh, we have so many new items. I need to get a napkin. I've got an Iberico ham on my fingers. Okay. Um, I just tried these in the car. A brand new item. <sighs> Rip that off. Um, milk chocolate covered honeycomb candy. Oh my gosh, I could not stop eating these in the car on the way home. You guys want me to eat one right now? No problem. Let me get into it. And it took me a minute. It took me a minute to figure out what these tasted like. The texture, okay, let me take a bite and I will tell you exactly what this reminds me of. <laughs> when you take a bite, it does this like crunch and this flavor shoots in your mouth. Mm. And then you realize, man, I've had something like this before. And it crosses your mind that this reminds you a lot of the texture of a Butterfinger. I don't remember the last time I had a butter Butterfinger but the texture of this reminds me so much of a Butterfinger. It's crazy. Mmm. These are so good. I'm tempted to put them in the fridge and see if they're better once they're in the fridge. But like they're already so good. And now if this was dark chocolate covered honeycomb, I would be just so, so, so happy. Okay, let's pick up. This is brand new, but it's returning. The Ube Mochi Pancake and Waffle Mix. This is like a cult favorite. People have been DMing me, asking me when it's coming back. Here's your answer, it is back. The best thing about this Ube Mochi Pancake and Waffle Mix is that it is gluten-free. But the good thing about being gluten-free is like a lot of times with like cupcakes, pancakes, waffles, gluten-free versions are, they tend to be better because they're just a little bit sweeter and they have like a, a chewier consistency because they use like a rice flour or a tapioca flour. In this case, they use tapioca starch and a sweet rice flour. So you just get that like decadent, chewy, sweet, and then that uve flavor. It is, it's so good. I'm, my mouth's watering, probably also because of everything I've just ate, but so good. And the only thing I need your help deciding with is what do we like better, waffles or pancakes? What do you, do you want a waffle or do you want a pancake? I personally am a waffle person. I like the structure of a waffle. I like the little pockets. It catches the, the syrup or whatever you put on it, but I'm a waffle person. I know that sometimes against the grain. I just like texture and I find that waffles have way more texture. Um, these, 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 what are we gonna pull out next? Um, I'm picking out some more, woo! This stuff saved me at Coachella because this is the Propolis Raw Honey Throat Spray. Before I left, my throat was like starting to get sore and I was like, I am not gonna get sick before Coachella. And so I literally used this two or three times during the day on my way driving out there. And I used it three times Thursday, three times Friday, and it literally works. I don't know how, I mean, I know because propolis is like insane. It's like a boosting your immune system and fighting bacteria and bac bacteria viruses and toxins and things like that and allergies. But this worked so well. So I picked up another one of these. I literally cannot go without this. It saves you anytime you feel like you're getting sick. This propolis threat spray is the best. Love propolis. Uh, okay, a brand new item. We are doing the freeze-dried raspberries. This is not ube, but this is a freeze-dried raspberry. This is brand new. Um, and it's just unsweetened freeze-dried raspberries. For a long time, I was buying the freeze-dried strawberries and I put them in my Magic Spoon cereal in the morning. Ooh, I didn't expect it to look that pretty. 
I know what this will go really good on. Look at this, freeze fried raspberry. Here we go. Oh, that's really fun. I like that. It's um, It's got that raspberry tangy flavor. There's nothing else added, just freeze dried. Well, that's really good. I like this because a lot of times I buy raspberries and if you don't eat them quickly, they can go bad pretty fast. Mmm. Okay. I'm a big fan. I thought they were gonna be more broken apart. Like sometimes the, the freeze dried strawberries, it's like freeze dried strawberry dust. This is more like an actual freeze dried raspberry. And there's no sugars added, just as is raspberries. These are really good. I like them. Mm -mm -mm. You can top these on your cereal, sprinkle them on some like granola. If you make overnight oats, it'd be really good. You can also put this on top of like an ice cream. Speaking of ice cream, I bought another non-dairy frozen dessert vanilla bean. I tried this last week. It was really, really good. Simon just watched the pups while I was in Coachella and he uh, alerted me that he ate the entire pint. So I had to buy another one. I'm always like, eat everything you want. Go for it. Um, I'm also picking up more JoJo's. I got the gluten-free JoJo's because I'm gluten-free. Um, and I want to compare these to the Trader Joe's, sorry, the regular Oreos. Um, Oreos make a gluten-free version, which I really do like. The only thing I don't like about this, and Oreo does this too, is like, you can't reseal this. You can't reseal it, okay. This one has more frosting. <laughs> really healthy haul this week, guys. This is, this is not a, it's not what we call the healthiest haul, but it is a delicious haul. Um, <laughs> Gluten-free JoJo's chocolate vanilla cream cheese cookies. And these contain a little bit of soy. It's in the lecithin, which is an emulsifier. But they use an oat flour, rice flour. Let's try them. Mmm. Another poll? Okay. Would you rather have a Trader Joe's jo What's better, Oreos or JoJo's? These are really good. I'm also making a mess and my sweatshirt has chip crumbs and now Oreo crumbs on it. Okay. These, these are really good. I think they'd pair well with the non-dairy frozen dessert. Mmm. We're gonna have to put these in a Ziploc baggie. <clears throat> I feel like I need a little bit of water. I can't tell if I have chip dust in my throat or a little bit of raspberry dust. Okay. Intermission, I'm back. Okay. You wanna see what else is back in the Ube department? Ube Jojo's. So we just had a regular Jojo. And then Ube Jojo's are vanilla flavored sandwich cookies with Ube cream and an Ube yogurt candy coating. Now these ones are gluten packed but I'd love to just explore what this looks like. And you only get one sleeve. Oh, I remember these from last year. I was like, who stole one of mine? You can see that there's like a gaping hole. I'm gonna break this in half just to really see what they've done here. You know what? Let's see, if can I break it? No, we need to cut it. We need to cut it. Let's get the fish, cutting board, a nice sharp knife. I'm gonna cut it. Some people might call cutting a, this a sacrilege, but we're doing it anyways. Okay, so this is the inside. It looks like it's more of like a vanilla wafer instead of a chocolate wafer, Jojo. And then there is actually ube filling on the inside. And I'd like to try the outside. Mmm. It's very similar to the ube that's on the outside of the ube pretzels. Very similar. Okay. I'm being a bit more tame with sampling this because I didn't take my digestive enzyme today, which helps with wheat. <clears throat> That's good, those are very sweet. Like if you like a lot of sugar, these Ube Jojos, that might be the way to go. Wow. How many grams of sugar? 10 grams added sugar. Okay, one cookie. 
120 calories in one cookie. Whereas milk chocolate covered honeycomb, you can have three pieces for 150 calories. But who's counting calories when things taste good? Okay, we got another Ube item. Ube tea cookies, purple yam at shortbread cookies. Um, five cookies, 130 calories, and it has an actual size. We're gonna open this. You might be wondering, what do I do with these items that I can't really eat? I have friends that, as it turns out, love Trader Joe's, and they get very excited when I offer them my Trader Joe's goodies. So these are the little ube covered, um, little ube pretzels, not pretzels, ube cookies. The first ingredient is powdered sugar followed by wheat flour. They smell like ube, which is like, they smell more pistachio. Mm. Okay, we're gonna take a little bite. Ooh, look at the purple ube color on the inside. Mm. Those are actually really good. Kind of have a cinnamony flavor. Yep, there's cinnamon in them. Wow, those are good. I could see why people like these with tea, because they're like, they're crunchy, they're a little bit sweet, they have the cinnamon flavor and the ube flavor. So it's more like a cinnamony pistachio flavor. And then they're, they're crunchy, so they're like powdered cookies. Um, sh sorry, shortbread cookies. So shortbread's a little bit crumbly. That's what these are like, and they're actually quite good. And if you're a tea drinker, I'd recommend these, but you don't have to have them with tea. You know that, right? You can also just have a couple to brighten your day. Um, a brand new, well, let's just grab this out. I don't think this is brand new, but this is the Blanc de Blancs. It's Trader Joe's Reserve Champagne. I haven't had it, but it was a beautiful day out. It still is. And I was thinking, hmm, this could really play well into a beautiful day on the weekend. So I just grabbed one of these, and I'll let you know how it is, but. It is from Sonoma County. It's a sparkling wine. We will see how that goes. Um, I picked up another one of these because I want to drink it. Oh, it's 2.30. I have caffeine after 2.30. I cannot sleep, but these Lock Long Draft Lattes are so good. Um, and so what I'm going to do instead of having this right now, I'll save this for a morning. Um, I'm going to go ahead and make a mud water after this because it has lighter caffeine than coffee. It won't keep me up at night. If you guys have not tried mud water, you probably heard me talk about it if you follow my Instagram page. It is so good. Um, and I love it for 2.30 in the afternoon. When, like, if I were to have coffee, I wouldn't be able to get sleep tonight. Um, this is brand new. It smells phenomenal. So this is a, speaking of coffee, is an organic Ethiopia, and the word is Guji, G-U-I, sorry, G-U-J-I, Guji. I'm not quite sure how to pronounce that. Um, it's small like coffee, but oh my goodness. Smells so good, and I love that it's organic. All coffee, I feel like if you're buying any sort of thing like wine, coffee, just any sort of thing that you're soaking in water and you're ingesting, I just like it when it's organic because it's more peace of mind that there's not a lot of pesticides and residue on it. Um, I picked up two sparkling waters. I love this stuff, I drink it every week. Cold sparkling water is amazing, but the Trader Joe's Italian's mineral sparkling water has the best size bubbles. They're like nano bubbles. It's it's delicious. It's so good. I took I ended up taking Pellegrino, so I bought cases of it for um, just having at the house once we got in from Coachella, and it was good. But this is hands down my favorite, and I like that it comes in a glass bottle. You can recycle them. Um, I picked up more jicama wraps because I have so much like chicken breast, um, deli chicken breast in the fridge from this weekend. So I'm gonna like make my little wraps. That's quite good. And if you have those, what are they called? They're like the smoked red bell peppers. They're like the, I'll show you. Add this to these, what is it called? Sorry, it's the fire roasted red peppers. Add the fire roasted red peppers to like a jicama. They cut it up, add it to a wrap with a little bit of chicken. It's so good. That's what I'm gonna do after this. Um, and then I think up just some almond beverage. For, oh no, there's one more item. And I picked up almond beverage for my coffee. I just made a fresh batch of cold brew this morning. And then last but not least, um, the honey mangoes are back. These are amazing. They're also called champagne mangoes. You can tell, you can tell them apart because they're yellow. Um, they're a lot softer. They're sweeter. They're amazing. Um, and if you guys recall a couple years ago, I was buying these all the time and we went through the process of learning how to cut a mango properly. Uh, it was humbling. It's very humbling. So that's this week's haul. Um, not a ton of like, day-to-day -day items just because they're in my fridge, but you guys can check out my haul from Coachella, which again, it's on Instagram. Um, and that is it. I'm so happy to be home. I had a blast at Coachella. I, like, honestly, I didn't have any expectations going into it. 
and I had so much fun. The LED technology, the screens, the music, like it is a performance, it's like performance arts. It's insane to watch some of these performances. You're just like, whoa. And it really makes you feel like you're in like the future or 2024, just the things that they can do now on screens. If you've never got to go, I highly recommend it just to see like where we're at with technology. It's some of the coolest things I've, I've ever seen or experienced. So I'm happy to be home though, but that was an absolute blast and I would look forward to going any year. Um, I cared more about my food than my outfit, but that's just me. Um, just dress comfy and be comfy. I know there's weekend two coming up, so some people are going to that or stagecoach and just wear comfy clothes. And of course, take your snacks with you. Take your snacks. But this is it. This is this week's haul. And I'll see you guys next week. And if you're on Instagram, I will hang out with you guys and we can chat. And I can revisit any of the items that you just saw me go through. But I'll see you next week. Bye.